you ever do come to Gubbio, I have one bit of advice for you. Get a good pair of shoes because the streets are very steep. All the buildings are stone. And it's nice to just go on the little side streets to just find the undiscovered little things, like somebody lives here through that doorway. And just to see how narrow the streets were. And maybe, you know, you get inspired by the stonework, which is very beautiful, medieval stonework. And you also wonder what it must be like to live here in the winter time when there's lots of snow and ice. And it makes you realize that people have to think differently when they live in an ancient town like Gubbio. And it's not like you drive to the grocery store or you forgot to get a quart of milk so you're gonna go in your car and get it. You do a lot of walking. So you think differently. You think about everything that you need at one time so you can save yourself a bit of a hassle. But it's just very serene walking around here away from the hustle bustle of the main square. Not that that is really, really busy, but it's busier than this. And just to look up and see what's around you and to realize that all of this stonework was done a mano because most of these buildings are between the 10th, 13th century. And you have to get your mind into that mindset that the tools, this was all done by hand. There was no machinery. There was no automation. So that in itself makes Gubbio a gem. <laughs>